The world is a vampire. Welcome back once again to Manic Ishtar's personal tour of Santa Monica. Here we are exploring one of the nicer parts of the city, known for its friendly drive-by shootings and neighborly stabbings. It's very nice here, yes. Ignore Foxy Boxes, we don't talk about that anymore. They refuse to sponsor my show, Manic Ishtar's friendly world tours of crappy cities. So, I'm not going to give them any advertisement on my show at all. It's, it's gone. I don't like them. Ah, yes, the uh, scenic, historical, scenical car park of Santa Monica. Very famous, this one. It was once the home to WWF's wrestling superstar legend, uh, John Cena. Not, not Santa Monica, he lived in the actual car park. He lived in his car for like five years. He, <laughs> he almost died. We're very proud of that. I, I like being a tour guide. I feel like I have a great uh, camaraderie with the audience in that they don't say anything. I, I just keep talking at them and, and making a bunch of stuff up. You know, well, it's all accurate. Because otherwise, it, I wouldn't be a very good tour guide. What in the Sam Scratch? Why have they set fire to a crate to heat themselves? That seems very inefficient. Doesn't seem very globally aware. I'm, uh, they're leaving their carbon footprint all over my face. I don't know what a carbon footprint is. I like to think that it's like that scene from Empire Strikes Back, ex except instead of Han Solo, it's just a giant footprint in the carbonite. It's like Jabba the Hutt's like, I didn't pay for this. Who wears a shoe this big? I guess the Rancor could use it. <laughs> He's just, the Rancor's walking around on one shoe. That would make that scene so much funnier. Ah, up next on our tour of Santa Monica, it is the Vicious Brutal Murder Site. This is where people get viciously, brutally murdered. Uh, it's kind of a weird stop on the tour. I don't know why people come here, unless they want to get murdered brutally and viciously, but there you go. There you can see Santa Monica's finest police officers doing what they do best, standing around doing nothing at all, and just sort of hoping that the crime solves itself. This pier was made famous in the movie, Piers You Should Never Ever Visit, starring Charlton Heston. Oh, look, ooh, frigging arcades. Yes, I could live here all my life and never be bored of my life. DDR time, go. Hit, 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 hit. It's not working. Hit. It's not telling me if my moves are smooth or not. I don't understand. How am I to comprehend the smoothness of my moves? All right, dance, dance, revolution. I'm about to have a revolution all over your butt. No, no, it's no use. The DDR machine is invincible. Hey, Bacotta, remember the time we played Paranoia Revolution on DDR against the Pharaoh? I'd rather not recall that part of my life, to be honest, Maddock. It was a very dark period for me. It was great because you and I were dancing on the same mat, and you kept missing, and the game kept being like, You are a lame dancer. He's thinking, I wonder if pepper spray works on the ocean. Bacotta. What? You are a lame dancer. Ironically, Call of Duty Pinball Edition has more innovation in it than the last 15 Call of Duty games combined. Suck on that, popular and successful video games! I wish I was big. Oh no, now I'm Tom Hanks and I've been kidnapped by pirates, help! Ah yes, Pitfall, the game made famous by being set in Santa Monica. You can't really tell very well because it looks like it takes place in the jungle and there are snakes everywhere. But that is actually what Santa Monica looked like 50 years ago. It was all jungle and snakes and people shooting at you. That was Santa Monica. It was very hard to take people on tours back then. Little known fact about Santa Monica, it was actually named after the character Monica Geller from the sitcom Friends. The most popular landmark of the city is a giant statue built in Monica Geller's image. At every hour like clockwork, it lets out a blood-curdling howl, just like in the uh, TV show. Uh, do you know who the head vampire is? Bill Murray. I don't know why, but it would be frigging hilarious. If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Who told you that one? Stephanie Meyer? Ah, it's funny because she doesn't know okay. anything about vampire but mythology. First, I have another question. Um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Yes, but nothing will ever be able to cure your terminal 90s accent. Unicorn blood? Oh, great. A vampire and a brony. It's like the perfect storm of being a social oh, wow. outcast. I'm gonna go get some money, um, 
Come back in a little while. Yes, just a typical Santa Monica night. That's what we call people who live in Santa Monica. Not Santa Monicans, Santa Monica nights. I have gained a wooden stick. I am truly excelling at this video game. Evening. Uh, do I have to talk to the shirtless guy again? <laughs> be my guest. Sorry, did you say be my vest? Because that's what I'd like you to wear right now so I don't have to stare directly at your nipples that stare back at me. Years ago, but it's well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That means morning. That's where I'm at. See, he said AM instead of morning because he's hip and with it, and my yeah, god, his nipples are watching my every move. Like Make them stop! Dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And then my shirt came off, and for some reason I couldn't figure out how to put it back on, and now I've been stood here ever since. It's she so tried weird. To tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me how to put a shirt on. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. A nineties stereotype. I now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. With just me and my tiny, tiny nipples for company. Sigh. Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. Put on a frigging shirt, you look like a moron. Were chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, I've been through a lot. You know, in my life, I stare at a lot of half-naked men. But you, sir, have somehow made it very boring for me. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. In the time it's taken you to explain this plot point to me, I have started a Twitter campaign to get you to put a shirt back oh, on. I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. This is the longest I've stared at a pair of boobs in a long time. I feel like I'm dueling my Valentine. Ah, oh, thank God that's over with. Ah, people who wear clothes, yay! Let's Whoa, your booby has a mind of its own. That's kind of cool. Were you like beckoning me with your boob? Why is he smiling? The father. Is it, is it the father behind him? That was a terrible haiku. Go back and start again. It didn't even rhyme. You chased it for the one at the top of the city. Yeah. On the sea. Uh huh. Oh, on the ground. Yep, yep. Keep going. You found it. In the crypt. Very intriguing, yes. It's open. Oh, it's open. Oh god, oh god, run. You're the worst fortune teller I've ever been to, and I've been to a few. Bakora once told me my fortune. He said that I was going to meet a tall, handsome stranger, and I said, well, I've already met Odeon. Ha, <laughs> because he's tall. I was actually referring to myself. You're not tall. You are pretty strange, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying? One hand moves the pieces of the game. Yes, that's what we call Jenga. Keeps his hand on the pawn. Okay, so in order to win, I have to have my hands on some pawn. Bakora, fetch me some pawn. <laughs> okay. Forget what I say. Holy frig, Bakora, why would you hand me this pawn? It's just two women doing it. I mean, I, I'm very aroused by this. Yes, this is good stuff. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the end of it will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. If you can see the future, can you tell me when that other guy is going to start wearing a shirt? Because I'll come back then. And then ask again. Man, this chick is such a pain in my neck. <laughs> you think I can sit type a vampire? <laughs> it says she is and is going to burn. Dinosaurs? He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? I think she just gave me a detailed plot synopsis for every Wachowski Brothers movie ever. Either that or I'm high again. Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others. Oh, well now she's just saying rejected titles for Philip K. Dick novels. Yeah, Dick novels. Many. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles, but I pity them. 
You are a remarkable fool. So ultimately what you're saying is that you pity the fool who would mess with Madak Ishtar. Yeah. Those with a lot to say usually have something on their minds. Ah. Huh? There are many unique individuals around the city. Yeah, I killed a bunch it's of them. Just as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E. For example. Wait, 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 wait. Did the game just slap me in the face with what an NPC is supposed to do? Don't open it. Because that's kind of patronizing. I'm the only tour guide around these parts, Missy. I see the future, not the past. Yeah, well, call me when people start being interested in tours of the future. Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it. Ah, the philosophy of EA Games. That told me a whole lot of nothing. Which is okay, because I already knew a whole lot of nothing. And a whole lot of nothing is what you get when you take Madik Ishtar's tours. Wait, that would be much cooler if I combined those two. Madik Ishtar's. Ah, I have a great gimmick now. Come and knock on my tour. I'll be waiting for you. What, what the frig am I doing? Man, I'm so glad that I'm not playing a vampire written by Joss Whedon. I, I can only take so many snarky quips in one day. I don't want to go into quip overload. Plus, I'd get cancelled after one video. Hey, Bakara. What? You are a lame dancer. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, hey, Bakara, Bakara. Hey, Bakara. Uh, what? Fail bonds. <laughs> and here we come to the end of my tour. I hope you liked it. Please leave feedback on my website, madikishtours.com. Madik, all you did was make up a bunch of bollocks about Santa Monica. It's not made up, don't tell them.